Like it when they give us presents, but not when it's dead. This, this is the problem. problem. There's an organization called Ontario Call in France which links all cuts in Ontario, which uh, Elaine was talking about, Ontario Pushing Authority in Toronto and a bunch of other organizations all over the province. We're part of that. Again, yeah. very informal. There's not this so anything we just coordinate. We talk on the phone of what he's doing, what he's doing, and we just don't do that. <laughs> so, but flyers, uh, yeah. feed each other, talk to each other, share ideas. There's sharing. There's a lot of sharing going on. People talk to each other, whatever. But like, we're not in charity business, we fully support all charity business, we work with people, we need food for the rally on April 1st. Where's it going? I want to move forward, the perfect candidate to help us not have to cook all the stuff ourselves. Okay, so, uh, yeah, some of the things that, that we, we do is there was a riot in, in, in response to my character's cut in, in Ontario. Sorry, in Toronto, uh, basically engaging the you know, government <laughs> directly in a fist fight. They brought out the horses, uh, anti police rallies, uh, Children's Day Society, which is basically a society that steals children from poor women and gives them to the rich. We protested them, we exposing their, you know, basically agenda, which is in Belgrade, they trashed them. And office a bunch of times. Uh, we've, we've had, like, we've walked through rich neighborhoods in Toronto and disturbed their sleep and so on. Uh, we crashed a, a breakfast, chamber of commerce breakfast in Kingston, where all the, the mayor and the MPP and all these guys were there smoothing with the rest of the business community and basically yelled out stuff about, you know, poverty and hunger and people freezing in the streets and so on, so they had to shut it down and we denied them the opportunity to smooth in peace and talk about making more money. We occupied condominium developments, uh, which were part of, you know, uh, anyway, a part of gentrification that basically pushes poor people out of the streets. Uh, and we supported native uh, resistance to Canadian colonial regime. Now,
Short, why am I here? Why are we here? What are we trying to do? The rates are now 55% lower in the term than they were in 95. As, as been shown to you by Elaine and others, this is very clear. There's a hunger crisis going on. People are starving and dying to death. It, it's a genocide. They call it a genocide. I can substantiate it. It's not too strong a word to describe what is going on all over the world. Uh, and NAFTA is just a little piece of, of the global capitalist offensive against the, the poor, which it, it basically amounts to starving the shit out of people, turning them sick, killing them off. Uh, you know, and it goes along with this whole Malthusian overpopulation push, which is a lot, because the problem is not that there's not enough food, the problem is that food is commodified. The, the problem is that food costs money, food is being thrown away all over the place. And, and we know that at least since 1930, during the, the Great Depression and famine days, when the food was being hoarded and dumped. Because if you were to release it, it would fuck with their price. Anyway, okay. So, <laughs> rates are 55% lower than they were. We, we understand that to be an explicit, uh, uh, intentional government agenda. We don't have a choice but to fight it. Liberals were elected. They, they, they threw out here, they were elected, promising they were going to raise the rates. They lied. They only <laughs> they raised the rates by one and two percent. In 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 not in real terms, in, in actual like nominal, whatever you call it, the, the real words. Azure doesn't matter. No, Which amounts to nothing. They're fifty five percent lower now. Uh, and, and and special diet was a way for us to get some food, to, to get some money uh, out of them back. And they were really pissed that we did and, and they have the nerve to do Say that the rates are adequate when, when any, uh, you don't have any, every, I don't know how dare they. <laughs> like, there is no study to support their shit. Like, you, you, you gotta be nuts not to recognize that five fifty per single person and then, you know, just tell people on how to feel bucks work, whatever the regime is. It's ridiculously mad. There's a genocide, we have to stop it, that's what we're doing. So, we went to talk to Garrison, to our own one to be in the liberal government. There are videos on this website, kato.tel.ca, of how that went down, uh, sorry, and on YouTube. Uh, but this is where you go for whatever information you might need, and it's the beginning. And uh, she's not cooperating. We have another, we have a rally on there. There's some literature here, please take flyers and whatever, and check the website. On April 1st, we have a rally at noon. We're going to need some food or whatever. There's going to be a bunch of people. We're going to have speeches. People are going to communicate, fraternize, you know, do our thing. And then at 2 p.m. we have an appointment with this guy. And we're basically going to ask him if he's, if he's he, he promised us that he's going to go to Trump and try to stop the, the special diet cut and to raise the rates. And the budget is coming soon. So we're going to go in and ask him if he managed to do that. Our uh, suspicion is not. But whatever, we're going to let him speak. With us, show him that you know you're not down with the agenda of starting with terrorists. We just need him really bad to know that there's more than you know whatever. That there's as many people as there can be to, to support us because it's very simple stuff in Congress. So if you're poor, you know don't fucking uh, don't throw over and die. Don't let your kids go to Congress. Because that's the biggest crime. People feel bad about. You know, not having jobs and whatnot. Feel bad about your kids going hungry and feel proud that you're raising these kids. And, and understand that you raising the kids is is for this vile system. Like the kids that single mothers and welfare are raising are the, the, the army of labor that is gonna fill the factories and pizza places and McDonald's and so on so that the rich can make money. You have the right to feed those kids, and, and they have the, 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 the responsibility to, to provide basic needs. If you're a middle class, 
struck me it's a matter of days or weeks or months or years, no more than no decades before you will be where, where we are. Where, where you are. It's a rapid, rapid, it's a very uh, rapid uh, division of, of wealth. And if you're rich, <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> if you're rich, open your heart, open your wallet, change your way, talk to your, you know, to the people that are running the government that are your friends or whatever. And, and make sure that this happens, that, that, that we get enough to eat them, because if we don't, the more it goes down, the more people die, the more pe people uh, suffer hungry. I'm not going to answer your question. Uh, uh, you know, the, 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 the higher the likelihood of everybody getting screwed. And uh, maybe there's no necessarily a connection between the nuclear energy and whatever, but uh, I can use it as a metaphor. The rich and poor are fucking the time because the motherfuckers decided to, 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 to build nuclear plants and, and they blow up. That's what's going to happen. When, 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 the, when the anger goes, blows over, uh, there, it, it's not everybody. <laughs> there will be no place to run for, for the, the people that have brought it it's about. So I advocate reform. Then with us, April 1st, with food, somehow, <laughs> we will be there. One o'clock, sorry, noon, Skeleton Park. There's literature here. Uh, and uh, two o'clock, we'll go see Garrison, please. Please come with us, let him know that it's not okay. Thank you.